All right, people, welcome back. More DM door commentary. So we are joined by Omega Chaos. Hi, Omega Chaos here. And uh, we have Hi Hiroga Forever. I don't know if that is. Hi Hyoga? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Forever at 818 using them Raid Raptors versus Lucas Dark Lord, <laughs> that Supreme King at 1228. And... Uh, Let's go ahead and see what some raid drafters can do. They finally, finally in the TCG, we got some four strikes. Yeah, finally four strikes is in the TCG. So expensive. The only problem is that four strikes is still trash, so it's pretty mm -hmm. expensive. Like... And you need at least two, but probably so three. So expensive, yeah. it's like secret rare. It's just like wow. And then, like usual, raid drafters getting them pluses. Uh, we don't have ultimate falcon and all that yet, do we? Yeah, not yet. It comes in shining okay. victory, so in okay. May. So let's see how that goes. Just drop the uh, 3,500 boss monster. <laughs> like, yeah, let me see you try to get over that, Pepe. Or Draco Pals. <laughs> so, uh, let's just, what are you playing? Are you playing the Draco Pals? I've seen, seen a lot of that lately. Is that that good? Yeah, I think they're pretty much still, still the best thing. Really? That's amazing. Yeah. It seems like... They do whatever Pepe did, just not as well. I mean, what do you do with that deck? Make a whole bunch of rank fours and build up resources. Yeah, I'm pretty gonna much. play a whole bunch of rank fours like, and build up resources. I just play raid raptors. <laughs> well, the thing is that the perform parts are more aggressive. Yeah, so yeah. A lot more aggressive than raid raptors. Mm -hmm. You saw uh, Mega Capital G's banless prediction. And now I did. Oh. <laughs> Lanty and Mermails. Alright. <laughs> yep. Let's see how this goes down. Uh, saying, oh, nope, nope. Get sound striked. <laughs> yeah, I can still pay the cost for... You can? Yes, because you have to pay the cost first and then the effect. Oh, right, activates. right, right. I'm so used to Solemn Warning where you don't even hit the field. Like, no, 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 you hit the field, but then when you activate your effect, you're still going to have Solemn Strike. But you're still paying for costs. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I won't even call this deck Mermel, it's pretty much Atlantean. The only Atl Atl Mermel you run is Megala, more or less, at least yeah, mostly. Yeah. I see some people trying to put in, like, Turge and stuff, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's just the Megalo, get your Megalo on. Yep. So go ahead and shine that Megalo. Picture two cards. Oh. Wow. <laughs> just enough to bist Jagoons all day. <laughs> yep. Yep, so much. ridiculous. Like, hey, why? Why? Why did you make Nath the Best? <laughs> make Nath the Best, bring it over in TCG. While Fire Kings are like, hey, you know, I was a structure deck and I had my field spell. Can I get that? Like, no. <laughs> wow. And actually playing uh, the Molen Glacier. It was exactly five, so. <laughs> yeah, most actually no play it. It's just. Yeah, the setup is just so easy with Nath the Best and Lagoons. It's just too easy. <laughs> So go ahead and summon that uh, the Molen Glacier and take two cards out of the hand, because why not? <laughs> yep. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, I guess he. I mean, so you just called the deck Atlantean? I, I still call it Atlantean Mermels, because that's what the OCG called it. So. No, OCG just called it. Really? Atlantean. I saw Atlantean Mermels. I mean, Megalo is a nice chunk of, of the deck. He's important enough to get at least a little bit of the title. Yeah, I guess. Tribute off to attack twice. And of course, Dragoons isn't once per turn. I don't know why he isn't once per turn. I don't know what Konami was smoking with this card, but nope. <laughs> yeah, but Mega Capital G did the protection. It wasn't terrible, it just wasn't the greatest either. A lot, a lot of liberal predictions that I just can't see Konami doing right now. Like, he predicted, like, them freeing up, uh, like, insectors and wind-ups and stratos. It's just like, no. Yeah, it's unlikely. <laughs> yeah. Just maybe send Mighty to one, probably. Will Are they going to ban? They got to ban Hunter, though. Like, we can't, ha we, yeah, we can't yeah, have one of that. Because then, what, wasn't it like ARG that tried it? They ban unbanned the Mighty, didn't ban Hunter, and it was just a whole bunch of wind-up loops in their tournaments. Like, that's just not healthy for the game. I don't even care if it's not competitive or anything. That's just not healthy for the game. <laughs> yeah, I know, of course. But once and mighty doesn't... Uh... Once and mighty... 
uh, contribute. Once in mind, you can pick out what three cards in your hand. Probably yeah. Two, three cards uh, in your hand. I remember that. So yeah, if you, you can bring that into the mind. I don't care as long as you ban Hunter, like the OCG and ARG did. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. And I think it it was pretty much my most hated deck. It was the wind ups, mm. it was the hand loop and all that. And that was the same time some Zectors, right? Yes. Because I remember I went to like some tournaments. Some kid tried to fuse the deck together and just wind up in Zectors. What? Hello? What's happened? I guess he just dis. I guess. I guess he was just lost connection. Because I asked the guy and he said it was actually game one. So what the hell? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> he was getting his butt kicked too. Like Lucas was going, Lucas was going in. Eh, all right, we'll just get another duel in. Bear back. Okay, well. Oh, it's I know ignites. ignites getting all the rogue today. Like, yeah, haven't seen them for a while. Like, PB is gone. We can all try to compete. <laughs> Draco pal. I don't like ignites. Like they are pretty much solid. Type. Yeah, and then it's like, hey, you know how much he like ignites? Let's make a freaking pretty much a duplicate archetype. <laughs> I don't like them. It's not really the same, but it's yeah, pretty the same. Did they even I... show any of their spell or trap cards? Mm. I, I don't, don't think so. Matter. I don't think so. A new archetype. Uh, we got Ninjustin here, an 813 and Wargross at uh, 1008. So, uh, pretty much, they created another archetype of normal Pendulum monsters. All the Pendulum monsters have the same exact effect. Where it's like, what, you pop a different face-up card in the field to search one of their uh, spells or traps? But they didn't reveal any spells or traps. And apparently they fuse? Actually, oh, they yeah, they did, because yeah, they, they, they have, like, their own poly. Hopefully yeah. they get more, but I'm just like, really? Like, because Ignite is so fucking great. <laughs> and it's actually, we're seeing some Ignite plays that didn't just lock you out of the game. Because this is generally what I see with this deck. <laughs> they either freaking Heat Wave you, or, or was it that... Tribe card? What was the tribe card's name? Yeah, yeah Tyrant's Throws. It's also used in normal no, 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 yeah, Pendulum. Tyrant's Throws? Are just damn! <laughs> OTK <No>. coming! <laughs> wow. Wow, immediately. Or. Uh... No, sure, I was just waiting for wow. this. Uh, Seriously, you, know, you didn't know what he thing. had. You're just like, OTK coming. Like, you know, you had like three monsters on the field. Like, you, you probably would have been okay. But all right, whatever. <laughs> he skipped scoop so fast, he didn't even know if it was over. He should have at least played it out. Whatever. Yeah, I don't think you should give up uh, prematurely. Mm -hmm. yeah, at least the meta is getting a little bit interesting. A lot of, a yeah, lot of tier that's... two decks trying to put their hat in the contending. So I like that. I like that. But yeah, monarchs are still everywhere though. I still can't stand monarchs for the love of me, though. I'm getting... Yeah, same here. I don't want to see any more. Oh, because of your turn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Congra congratulations yeah, on fun. that regional, though. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so you got that. I definitely didn't expect to. Oh, no, no, but you, you pulled it off. Not a lot of rounds. How many people showed up? Like, less than 100, right? No, yeah, of course. It has yeah, to be less than 100 yeah. for you. You only have, like, what, five rounds? Um... Yeah, <laughs> we had around four rounds yeah. actually. Yeah. First place though, like wow, would you win? No, I'm I didn't get the prizes uh, uh, yet because the Konami didn't send. Them at the right time. <laughs> that sounds but, like though, uh, like <laughs> Estonia who? <laughs> like nah, we're not saying shit there. <laughs> yeah, I will get like ten boosters and play my ten deck box pretty much. So the invite, right? Yeah, I get the, I get the invite as well to European Championships. And how are you gonna get there? <laughs> no idea. Probably not. Your mom can drive you. <laughs> oh, Dekaseka again. I wonder if that's actually a Bisphere. Do they even play a Bisphere? In that team? Mm, some play like one maybe, but it's not necessarily it's at slow. all. Wow, you actually said that. No. They actually played them very much. Oh, well. okay. <laughs> like Gund and Sphere and Lind, like those cards seem really slow. All right. Yeah, those cards are now completely outdated. Wow. Yeah. Well, again? Well, again? What? Nigga. Wow. Uh, 
so bad. Why are you quitting like that? Wow, now we gotta get another one. Holy crap. And he's putting lead and shit. Like, do you really think he's that good? Whatever. Oh, we'll find another duel. Bear back. Alright, people, we're back. Definitely looking like a Monarch Mirror match here. So we have Houston 214 here at 11-12 versus Buck the Duck at 1385. And here we go. Monarch Mirror match. Yay, yep, Monarchs. Yay, Monarchs. <laughs> Are you not entertained by the Monarchs? <laughs> yeah, fuck it. You don't need... It's probably one of the most boring decks I have mm -hmm. ever seen. <laughs> I just cannot stand that field spell. I don't I don't mind that they're fast. I don't mind that they're competitive. I just cannot stand that they lock you out of the, the extra deck. I can't yeah. stand that shit. That shit pisses me off. It's just like, how's that fair? It's like Konami... Konami. Yeah, it's... It it's really it is. Part, but at least my main deck ha always has an out yeah, that like Konami's like, oh, well, uh, uh, we gotta go ahead and... Uh, and uh, make it so Marks can compete. How are we gonna make it so Marks can compete? Uh, just make it so they lock the opponent out of the extra deck. Then they can actually fight on even ground. Like, that's not even ground. That's not even close to even ground. <laughs> You're summoning all these big old beaters and shit, and I can't even fucking play. <laughs> so. They do have one weakness for that. They, they really are. They're really inconsistent. Uh, what do you think about the. the. the super. Quantum engine in it. I don't think that the engine really fixes the problems in the inner deck. And, uh, I mean, it's different. It's pretty decent, but uh, I'm not sure if it's not necessary, to be honest. I guess it helps. You're running more monarchs, you're running more tributing, you're running your. Uh, what's that? It's continuous spell card? Mark? No. Yeah. Two of the monarchs, that black yeah, you're running card. that, so I guess it helps. It's just. You're still, you can still open up shaky, and that's the problem with this deck. You, that Pandeity, though. That Pandeity is, is, a, is a godsend for this deck, because they didn't have that, this deck would just open up ass all the time. It's completely insane that you can activate the graveyard effect uh, after you activate mm -hmm. that card in it's the same turn. Exactly, to draw effect as much as you want and activate the graveyard effect. Like, ridiculous. Ah, oh, Konami. Konami, Konami, Konami. Like I said, I'm not too mad about pan pantheism. I think you, I can't. I think you kind of need it. I said panditi, pantheism, uh, but freaking, freaking the field spell. Like I would not mind if you just ban the field spell. <laughs> can't stand the shit though. Yeah, it would be a good idea because it locks down so many legs that don't have a searchable out mm -hmm. that card. So like, that's not fair. <laughs> yes, and they love to do that. You just run three other thing. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about the three returns, though. Oh, so he actually is running the return engine and stuff like that. Like, do you run the three returns so you can make sure you can guarantee getting it with pantheism or what? Because I, I, I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about it. It depends on your preference. Some are on three, some are on only one. Because mm. OCG in the, in the three, uh, the three, uh, I forgot his name. Karaz, too? Yeah, Karaz is pretty popular because you can summon it with uh, uh, Aether in your opponent's turn and destroy their two cards mm -hmm. or something. I mean, I get it that you they draw, but it would be even out for them while you're still interrupting your play. So, I, I, th I, think, I think I like the Karaz place. I think I like that, but I'm just not sure how I feel about the return. And the, the, the power engine, it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, I don't like that I see some people going three red. I don't think that's necessary. I think two red, one blue, and then one ghost ogre. Just in case. I think one ghost ogre is nice. <laughs> it's really hard to beat all those cards in for the engine is already so Yeah, large. it really is. It's really tight on space, difficult to side, and I, 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 I get it. I get it. Alright. And what what is what is up with this deck? Like, did they just both open up ass and not doing much? Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess that works. Instead of putting the trap card and activating it, putting it back to your hand, setting the trap card, activating it, put it in your uh, monster, and just put a token. Yeah, because Tian doesn't have the mechanic to immediately put mm -hmm. it to the field. So, all right. And Buck the Duck is just gonna leave freaking uh, 
Eros there. Like, alright, just Eros. <laughs> no idea, just Eros. I still think that I should run Roto, though, but I'm not sure about the one for one, because that's a neg. Yeah. Man, one for one, one is really good because then you haven't even used the normal summon. It's true. Right? You could summon like two attributes yeah. in the same turn. It's still a neg. It depends on which engine you're going with. I, I kind of feel okay if you don't run the one for one if you're running the, the Power Ranger engine. Which looks like that's what we're seeing. Yep. It's just so expensive. Yeah. Like, emergency teleport. Yes, it's expensive. Fits. Oh, Mega Capital G thinks that emergency teleport's going to go to one. No, probably not, because it's getting a re reprint in the mm -hmm. gold series. I think they want to sell that. It wouldn't be a terrible hit, it's just I'm not sure about it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's necessary, because it helps so many other decks other than uh, Kosovo and... Uh, it stuff. really depends. He thinks that it's going to be like the, the, the first indirect hit to Cosmos, like how Burning Abyss got Tour Guide. I don't think it's that likely. Yeah, I, I wouldn't care. If it gets hit, it gets hit. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I personally don't care. Yeah, I don't care I mean, if it gets hit in the super... If it gets hit in the super quantum engine, it's fucked. <laughs> like, yeah, there, there's no much. super quantum engine for Monarchs anymore for emergency teleports at one. Like, you need the three emergency teleports, searching your reds and doing all that shenanigans. Did he search for his uh, red when he summoned uh, Blue Lair? Or does it miss timing? No, it, it did, oh, okay. sir. When this card is normal summon or special summon, you can add... Oh, it can miss timing. It can oh, miss timing, yes. Right. Okay. So, did it miss timing? Or no? I think I saw them searching hmm, for it. Okay. I'm not completely summon sure. Summon the emergency teleport, summon. Then, I guess, Blair would activate its effect. And then he would chain Aether effect. And then chain Monarch Stormforth. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I am not sure. Oh, go ahead and throw the veil at him, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God, it's just chain link, chain link, chain link, chain link. Look at that, they're just going to town. Alright. What do you think about Return? In... I think it's pretty good. I will run at least two of it. Okay. I think I think two is a good number. Not sure three. I think three is too much. Two is a fine number, but... I mean, I guess if you really want to reveal it for Pantheism, but... Aren't there other shit that you want to reveal? Uh, mm. It doesn't seem like Return is the card that you'd always want to grab. Unless I'm completely wrong and that's the card that you always want to grab. It de depends on the situation, of course. I guess first you want to get the Fiat Spell or your draw card. Well, I mean, the, the whole Pantheism, Banish, Reveal 3, and then your opponent picks one. Yep. So if you reveal three, your return your opponent has to give you it. That's the reason why they run three of a lot of the other cards. So yep. is is return still in that is return in that court category as well? Like reveal three returns and make sure you get it. Not the return seems like it's on the weaker end of the cards. It seems like if you reveal like a return and like two other uh, monarch cards, they will give you the return. So I'm not sure, you know, if that's really necessary to run three. I'm definitely not the Monarch expert. No, I'm sure. definitely not. <laughs> I, I don't know anything. Well, of course, it's not really that hard for deck to play. Yeah, so it seems like... Oh, wow, well, just follow the situation, though. Are you going to give him the return? Because it seems like you just give him the return. You don't want to give him the Monarch Stormforce. It's going to tribute your shit off, so... Uh, is it necessary? Oh, wow. <laughs> so you have that Stormforce. Fuck it. You're not going to keep on fucking getting tributes off over and over again. <laughs> I don't know. It's supposed to be some tournament that our friends are going to go to and they want me to go and I wouldn't mind going just to get out of the house and have another fun trip but 
I don't know what deck to play. I don't have any cards. And they're like, oh, you can borrow Monarchs. And it's just like, well... Oh, yeah. I wasted this last week. I just had my next I'm probably not going to go to that. I want to get out of the house, like, to a different, like, state. Road trip. Hotel. Have fun. If I wanted to go to Las Vegas, I could just drive there myself. <laughs> yeah, that's happening soon. I think it's, like, the 12th and the 13th of next month. Yeah, I think so. But I'm probably not going to go to that. But they said they'll surprise me. With... I don't because well, I don't have a deck. <laughs> I don't have any Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, you can just get to play the free Monarchs. So I, I don't want to play Monarchs <laughs> unless they give it to me. I'm not going to actually spend my own money to get Monarchs. If they let me borrow the Monarch deck, sure, I'll play it. But I'm not going to spend money on damn Monarchs. Fuck that. I hate Monarchs. <laughs> My systems are also an option, but you need probably other cards mm -hmm. as well for it. So, like I said, I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna spend any money on Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done, Omega. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess it's a, going for a waste of money sometimes, really yeah. So I'm just, I can't. I can't keep buying freaking Yu-Gi-Oh decks. I have terrible luck, so there's really no point in even me trying. <laughs> yeah. God, this duel, is this really how the mirror match is? Yeah, mirror match is probably really bad, like... like holy crap. <laughs> and they're all main decking them Veilers as if they're gonna face the mirror match while Veiler is not good against other uh, top tier decks. Like, it's not really that great against Cosmos, it's not really that great against Atlantean, so... I'm not sure if you should be main decking the Veilers anymore. I mean, I get you took out the Max Seas, but the Veilers too? I'm not sure. Oh, the duel is finally over? I don't know how it ended, but it ended. <laughs> Oh my god, fucking Monarchs. Can't stand this deck. <laughs> yeah, same here. Yeah, they're out in the TCG. Yeah, of course they are legal if they mm -hmm. set it out. <laughs> Alright, well I guess they'll just pause while they side whatever they can side in Monarchs. <laughs> Lol, yeah. Alright, so... Game 2, so he's actually playing the Vassal. The Thunder Vassal, my bad. Give him a token, some your monster, special summon your monster. Not bad. Uh, then emergency teleports, special summon that blue layer. Layer will go ahead and search you for expensive ass red layer. So expensive. <laughs> Show you for Karaz. Then Karaz will pop the blue layer. And uh, what's the effect of Vassal? Oh, you get an extra tribute summon. Oh, yep. Okay. All right, this card should be for trim something. Got the effect. Choose the one monster you make additional. That's not bad. All right, so effect to cries on himself too. So, so draw two. Then I think will blue. No, blue player is an F when it's in the graveyard, so it won't miss timing. All right, so draw two. Then blue layer will go ahead and put itself back. And that's why you run the one blue layer with the emergency teleports because. Just always puts itself back. Yep. But I do like the whole emergency teleport, summon Ghost Ogre Snow Reddit, interrupt your play thing too. Yep. There's some in red layer. Is that you have something in there? I don't remember you putting a super quantum in the graveyard. So. Yeah, so like I said, if I was going to run the engine, I'd do two red layers, one blue, and... One Ghost Ogre, because I think emergency teleporting, gun summoning Ghost Ogre, and interrupting your opponent's plays is also good. And the Karaz play too. I said depends. If they let me borrow the Monarch deck and it has the works and I get the access to any cards I want, I would probably build it like that. I said I just don't know how many uh, returns I would run and how many, uh, like if I would run Veiler main deck, Twin Twisters main deck, like I'm not sure. Yeah, I think you should run Twin twist Twisters in the side deck, probably, because so many decks don't run any back row. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, at least I'm learning a little bit. I don't learn seeing Monarchs a little bit, just, I just can't stand the deck. If, if they're going to let me borrow Monarchs and has the works, because... You know, they, it is a card shop, so they probably got a handful of all of these cards. Like, hey, can I borrow Emergency Teleport? Sure. Can I borrow Super Quantum? Sure. Can I borrow Ghost Sugar? Sure. 
you know, and I'll do well in the tournament, hopefully, and then give all this shit back. <laughs> I tried to make an Egyptian card deck with the Monarch support, but it didn't work out that well. <laughs> it was like, no, it's not working. I kind of want to see a raw deck. Raw, what deck? like all three of them, like the Sphere and Raw and oh, Phoenix yeah. is coming out. Like, I want to see, I want to see a raw deck. Phoenix mode is so inconsistent, you have to get it to the graveyard first, and then Kral has to be destroyed. No, almost impossible. Uh, it seems like you have to Beatrice it. <laughs> yeah, possible. Yeah. Do you like some, uh, some, uh, her her heretic? Herotic? Yeah. Herotic. Herotic yeah, plays. Go into Beatrice, send it. <laughs> then you have to somehow tribute for Ra. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all right. This is still turn one. Yep, they can insane insane amounts for all five lines. It's mm -hmm. first turn. Like, holy crap! How many primes do you think should be run? Two or three? Mm, it depends. Mm. I guess two is fine, but because I get it, I get why people run three. You, you, of course, you send one, but then, uh, then you would only be able to get one prime from your deck, and it being faith upon the field is also a good effect to recycle your spells and traps as well. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. pretty good. So, not sure how I feel about that either. Okay, if I get to work with this modern deck, I'm definitely gonna have to play test and work with it because. I don't know it well enough to be able to pull off efficiently. But yeah, I get the Karaz plays. Definitely makes Aether, Aether a lot better. Ether? Wait. That was Aether. It changed his name in CCG? Yeah, they changed Fucking his name, yeah. <laughs> I'm already starting to get a little bit bored. <laughs> Yeah, I imagine a lot. Of it's so linear. So it's a very boring uh -huh. deck. Especially the middle match is even worse. Like... Holy crap, the mirror match. It seems like with, uh... With Donkey being... I mean Donkey. With Draco Pals being up there, it seems like maybe... Uh, main deck in the Fire Veilers might be good. Yep. Just, what does the fact you do against like Cosmos and shit? Absolutely nothing but much. <laughs> and what does it do against At Atlanteans? Well, they can veil out the Neptobis, but or Diva, but of course Neptobis still gets the to send the cost. Yes, you could veil her Megalo, so he won't attack you twice. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Wow, he's actually playing Escalation. Yeah, it's a good deck card for the deck. Hmm. Yeah, he's like, you can have that. <laughs> like how he just shows a whole bunch of cards hit at one, probably. So give me one of them. <laughs> See? And especially if they give me a choice like that, like in the mirror match, I'd just be like, I don't know what I want to give you. <laughs> I'd probably just do terrible with Monarch because I'm probably like the worst Monarch player ever. I was terrible, terrible yeah. with it when I tried to fuse it with a Ubel deck. Like, hey, Ubel's are inconsistent, Monarch's inconsistent, and I'm running an inconsistent way of running it, so let me just fucking fuck up my deck and make it ass. Terrible idea. <laughs> yeah, there is Marshall to Monarchs, which is just a really mm -hmm. good card. Just don't see a lot of it. Main deck. Well, I would main deck and at least one of it. It's just so good. Not in the middle match, of course, but against other matchups. So I'm saying, is Buck gonna win? And we're actually gonna go to game three. If it goes to game three, I don't even want to sit here for game three. <laughs> oh, <that's>, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to watch it. <laughs> 
Oh. Okay. I guess has the ever yep. in hand and. So go ahead and summon your prime. Yeah, ever ever is really annoying card mm -hmm. for sure. You can tribute tribute someone in your opponent's turn. Yep. Oh good. Just tribute someone in your opponent's turn, cause why not? <laughs> Who thought that? Who thought that? <laughs> mm hmm. Some sorry, could blah 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 blah. Turn jam phase, and on this main phase. This card is in your hand, you banish one monster, so I can make this card is up to summon this card. It's a quick effect. Okay, then you can send two and go ahead and summon probably Edos or something like that. Or whatever his name is. What's the underworld? Erebus, that's the way. Erebus. <laughs> Harry Bus. <laughs> yep, and then Bucky's gonna be sitting there doing nothing. <laughs> and then I guess I'll just end his turn and get fucked up. <laughs> get dunked on. Yeah, pretty much. Still has a lot of cards in his hand. Alright, still in main phase one. Is that a card? Okay. Is that another card? Oh, uh, it's dual. <laughs> it's mirror match is taking forever. People aren't even checking watching. <laughs> yeah, I would, wouldn't want to play that mm -mm. for sure. Like, these two would be going into time. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, look at that. Look how good that is. Put it back two and draw. Just wonderful. Are we still sitting here watching this? <laughs> yes. Seems like it. Please, Houston, win. Please. <laughs> For the love of all that is holy, please win this goddamn duel. <laughs> is it tribute to someone else's you control? Yeah, you control. Alright. That was just tribute to someone else's period. <laughs> like, oh shit, <laughs> fucking March. <laughs> Look at that, yeah. I definitely think you should run third prime. Just since you use two primes like that, it's so good. <laughs> yeah. Getting old. <laughs> Waiting for this till the end. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Hmm. Oh, pick something out of his hand. Yep. So good. <laughs> yeah, no targeting removal is yep. quite the thing. Like, that is the that Rebus is your fucker for dealing with Cosmos. Cosmos are gonna get so fucked up with Rippling Mirror Force. <laughs> yeah, what's <possibly>. that? <laughs> Good. I'm sick and tired of Dank Destroyer already. <laughs> yeah, same here. It's a really broken mm -hmm. card, for sure. Probably should be limited. Definitely. <laughs> Cosmos, buy Cosmos, get Cosmos. Definitely going to be the first card in the chopping block for when they actually do start hitting it, though. 
Jag brukar staka kryp precis på nästa version av den här Jag ser att du vill ha artefakt och du vill kalla hundra och shit. Så god damn it, Bobby. Så so annoying. <laughs> It's dual, like this dual. Please, just stop this duel. It's so boring. I thought this duel was gonna be quick. No. <laughs> yeah, apparently not. It's gonna take forever. And it looked like they might even go to game three. And I don't want them to go to game three. <laughs> Where's your field spell? <laughs> well, uh, it's of course not needed hey, in the middle. At least action. you can tack over his shit. <laughs> and make your 8s into 6 tributes. That's a little bit easier. So you're not doing that fucking double prime play every single fucking turn. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> This duel, <laughs> getting old. <laughs> and have not seen a lot of, uh, of idea in Edo's suit lately. <laughs> Who the hell are those two? Yeah, it seems like it. Okay. Oh. Or Domain. Oh, okay. Which one? I guess he's gonna give him that Domain, I guess. Oh wow, I'm getting them freaking return, okay. I'm like, it's officially died of boredom. <laughs> yeah, <more or> less. <laughs> okay. Wow. Chalice. Chalice, okay. Yeah, you want to fight Baylor, but you're like, nah, let's get that chalice, too. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, falling asleep. <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah, like... <laughs> Why? Why is it boring? <laughs> Are you guys not entertained by the Monarch Mirror Match? Look at this skill! Mirror Match takes extra skill. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, oh, no, we're not doing game level. 3. <laughs> we're already at 57 <laughs> minutes and this is boring as hell. Yeah, Alright, we're done. Sorry there's no game 3, but holy crap, this is so boring. <laughs> So, thank you guys for watching anyway. Thank you, Omega, for joining me. No problem. I'd like that. I'd like that. And, uh, and uh, we'll be back next week. The more the indoor commentary. And hopefully, we, I'll just try to avoid the Monarch Mirror Match and all. This is my first time watching the Mirror, Monarch Mirror Match. And God, it was boring. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.